the aim of this video is to try to find the limit of the L tangent of 1 over 1 plus x squared as x goes to infinity. <coughs> Here we have two functions. In fact, this is a composite function. So if we, without, without taking limit into account for now, we can write this one as f of some g of x or f so-called g of x with g of x as 1 over 1 plus x squared and f of x is the arctangent of x. Okay. So when we are dealing with this uh, composite, we can use one of the famous theorems. So, uh, so here, when we try to compute this limit of f of g of x as x goes to a, so we we can we need to have some conditions. So first, we need to have f is continuous. That's what we need at some. Uh, uh, let's say here at this limit here. Okay. So let's say the the limit f is continuous. Let's say the limit of limit of g of x as x goes to a is b. That means f is continuous at b. Okay? And this limit exists. So if we have these two conditions, so if this one, okay, has a limit, and if f is continuous at this limit, then we can say that the limit of f of g of x as x goes to a, we can enter the limit inside. It's going to be f the limit of g of x as x goes to a. And this would give us simply f of b. Because here we have this one and f is continuous. So when it's continuous, we just evaluate. So we take just the image. Okay. In our case here, okay. so our g is this one here. And when we take the limit of g of x as x goes to infinity, okay, so it's going to be the limit of 1 over 1 plus x squared, so it's going to be 0, okay? So our f is the arctangent. Now we have this limit is going to be, so let me write one more time here, the limit of arctangent 1 plus 1 over x squared as x goes to infinity. It's going to be the arctangent of the limit of 1 over 1 plus x squared as x goes to infinity. So here we know this is 0. So it's going to be the arctangent of 0, which is 0. Therefore, this limit is 0 as x goes to infinity. The aim of this problem is to be able to see this, okay? So here, f, okay? The outer function is continuous on the limit of the inner function. And this function has must have a limit as x goes to a. So when we do these kind of problems, we, we can enter the limit inside, okay? We will see it in many other problems and we're gonna prove this result here. Proof of this result why it's true is coming. So we're going to prove it in general using the epsilon delta definition. But you see the case here. Okay. So the, 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 we're, going to, we're going to do it in, in graphically and uh, using some examples. But here the aim is just to see that this is continuous. Okay. We know that. And this one has the limit as x goes to infinity, which is zero. Therefore, the limit is just the image of the arctangent by the by the limit, which is zero. And the arctangent of zero is just zero. And this will end our video now. Thank you.